Good Saturday evening, meteorologist Nick Kelly here. We were socked in with plenty of clouds across the Ozarks today, and many of us cashed in on periods of light to moderate rain as we went throughout the course of the day. And that's what some of us are still holding on to as we get this evening underway. But we're not quite done with the rain chances in the cloudy skies just yet, because even though we have our cold front to the south of us now, and this area of high pressure over Montana and Wyoming ready to send more colder air our way, it's the upper levels that that's going to allow the moisture behind the cold front to stay in place and with additional bursts of energy and upper level lift this is going to allow clouds and rain chances to stick around through tonight and into tomorrow before we finally dry things out going into pretty much all of next week as far as future cast is concerned in the short term again we'll start this evening out with scattered showers in place light to moderate at times nothing too heavy strong or severe expected then by late tonight, early Sunday morning, we'll hold on to the clouds, but I think our moisture will back down to just some areas of mist or drizzle or a couple light sprinkles. Then I think scattered showers will try to pick up once again as we head towards sunrise Sunday morning. And I think the rain chances will just continue to pick up, certainly by late morning and certainly into the afternoon. Maybe with this batch of moisture, some more moderate to occasionally heavy pockets of rain, while the colder air coming in may allow a couple of spots in the very, very far northwestern Ozarks to try to mix in with either a few snowflakes or a few sleep pellets. But again, we are not concerned about a big impact in terms of wintry weather. This is mainly going to be rain as we go through the entirety of Sunday and as we wind things down going into early Monday morning. Fortunately, even though we're going to turn downright cold for Monday morning, we will see temperatures rebound with mostly sunny skies back in place as we head back to work and school on Monday. As far as additional rain to expect through tonight and through Sunday until the rain lets up, we're going to see additional areas seeing half an inch to up to an inch and a quarter of additional rain. Maybe some isolated heavier pockets, but this is still a chance to catch up on some much needed rain before we go into a bit of a dry stretch as we go through the week ahead. So tonight, temperatures are going to be a bit interesting. I think we will have early morning highs in the 40s in a lot of spots, and then by sunrise we'll have temperatures near 40 in Springfield and 43 in Harrison. Then tomorrow afternoon temperatures turn colder through the day. We'll drop to 37 in Springfield by about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 40 in Harrison as that northerly breeze and the clouds and the rain chances continue to allow colder air to come on in. And then our attention will shift to our first alert weather day with freeze warnings out for much of the Ozarks Monday morning, sub-freezing temperatures for Monday morning and Tuesday morning as well, which will put an end to the growing season. Now, let's talk about hour-by-hour -hour temperatures. You can see everybody with early midnight highs for Sunday in the low to mid-40s to about the lower 50s to start Sunday out. Then I'm expecting the numbers to drop back into the lower to middle 40s across the entire area by sunrise Sunday morning. And most of us back in the upper 30s to about 40 degrees as we go toward late Sunday afternoon. And then more cold air just slams on in with many spots in the upper 20s to about the lower 30s Monday morning. Then a bit of a warm up but cooler than normal for sure with Monday's highs expected to top out only in the lower 40s and maybe a few mid 40s in the southern Ozarks. But we're not done with the cold mornings after Monday though. Here's Halloween morning. Lows back in the lower to middle 20s and most spots around 24 degrees or so. And then once we get past a pretty chilly Halloween we will see lows near 20 degrees and maybe some upper teens in some low-lying spots for Wednesday morning. So, once we get past a cold start for Halloween morning with lows deep into the 20s, we'll only make it to 41, but we'll have mostly sunny skies to keep things dry for Halloween, but then 37 quickly by 6 o'clock Tuesday evening, and down to 32 already by 8 o'clock Tuesday night. So trick-or-treaters, definitely dress warm for that. Then finally, we're going to see highs back near 50 on Wednesday, upper 50s on Thursday, and finally back near average with highs in the mid-60s by this coming Friday and Saturday. I do want to show you the upper level setup though, because even with these upper level lows keeping us downright colder than normal for the early part of the coming week, there are no active storm systems with it otherwise, so we'll keep things dry for much of this week. There's our mild trend coming in as we head toward Thursday and Friday with the building upper level heights. 
And then you see that system in the Pacific Northwest by next Saturday. That will be the next best chance for rain and maybe some thunderstorms to come into the Ozarks, but we'll have to wait until November 7th, 8th, and 9th, that general time frame, to see those rain chances come back into the region. In the meantime, we'll have to put up with rain chances tonight and tomorrow with temperatures dropping through the 40s and 30s through the day. And then cold mornings, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, which does put an end to the growing season, but we're dry through the week. Lower 40s for highs Monday and Tuesday, back into the 50s Wednesday and Thursday, and then we're back into the mid-60s for highs by next weekend.